Now that we know a little about caves, let's talk about the effect of erosion on fossils. Is this why we don't have a lot of fossils? And what does this have to do with evolution? Erosion is the process by which the environment is weathered away by natural forces such as wind and water. This is happening all around us. Dr. Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist, studies this stuff for a living. He uses the example of Salt Lake City to demonstrate the effects of erosion. Let's see if he can help us understand a little better. Where is relevant to your audience. Salt Lake City? Uh, Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Yeah. Here you got a big city. You go there and you go, this is going to last forever, right? You say when you look at that, you see the skyscrapers, see those huge, the Capitol buildings there, right? It's that gigantic building. All those fantastic sort of made of hard things like concrete and steel and glass. All right, now imagine this. Imagine that I'm going to get to say that the erosion rate in that area is probably around, oh, say, between 30 and 60 feet every million years. That'd be a pretty slow erosion rate, but, okay. and it's probably a lot faster. But I'm going to say that that's kind of, that's how much soil would be taken away and rock over time just for, as, as the world erodes naturally. So we come along and we're an archaeologist or paleoanthropologist in, uh, in 250,000 years, right? And we're trying to find the remnants of Salt Lake City. What are we going to find? In other words, let's apply erosion to a different scenario. If we build a house in hundreds of thousands of years, because of erosion, it will be gone. The world erodes or weathers over time because of the sun, water, wind, and all of the natural events surrounding us. Things on the surface deteriorate over time. That's why most of the fossils we have found in South Africa are in caves where it has not eroded away. Now let's go back to Dr. Berger and find out what he thinks will happen to Utah. Are we going to find concrete? Nope, concrete's not going to last. It's a very fragile uh, rock. It's a sedimentary rock, man-made in a very fragile way from calcium carbonate, exactly. We're looking, it's going to have disintegrated. We're going to find any ferrous metal. No iron, no anything, no metal that can rust. If you went to the cemeteries, they'd be long gone. You're way below where they were. But maybe a tooth or something is eroded into a situation that took some of the calcium carbonate out of your concrete that's eroding. And you might find a few teeth downstream that were lucky enough to survive. That's your fossil human that you just found. You might find a few bits of dogs and cats and stuff like that, if you were lucky, but only in places where they were collected. So we've learned a lot. Because of erosion, the work done in caves is very important as we continue to find fossils. Finding fossils has helped us explain evolution and our story.